as infrastructure is concerned? Because, I mean, these tracks are ready for it. Um, but what about like the route and all that type of stuff that is kind of I don't know a lot about how do, how did all those how did those things come together where we're going to stop or where we're going to stay or is there check ins I, I am assuming or something like that? Yeah, checkpoints. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the key that we had, because uh, a lot of times the checkpoints seem like an afterthought and we're like, I mean, there's a couple goals in it. One is that um, obviously, I, I mean, most of us have been through the, the rigors of a 400 mile night. Um, day racing in the morning, driving our street strip car to the next track, 400 miles, getting in at two in the morning, getting up the next day, doing it all over again. Um, and the idea was that, I mean, I've tested in Florida for multiple winters now. And it's like, man, I mean, there is top of the line drag strips. And then we started actually looking at it saying, well, wait, we could make every drive less than 200 miles. And we still have the proven the street ability of all the vehicles. But we could actually enjoy the drive. We could also enjoy the um, the checkpoints along the way. So one of our big deals with checkpoints, and we tried to go to Disney, and um, that was going to be the checkpoint was at the Disney Disney Springs or whatever it used to be downtown Disney. I, I actually there, love that area. I'm a bit well, of a grown, I was there I'm like a child. Year ago, and we stayed at the um, the camp Disney campground, and it was like awesome. You could go over there, hang out, and everything. And uh, well, Luke and I, when I was down there, um, down there for uh, uh, one of the Cletus races and we drove it, we go to Disney and now there's like a metal detector to get in. And my sweatshirt says something on the back of it that um, is whatever, <laughs> not politically correct, I guess for Mickey. But so I was told I couldn't even go into Disney Springs. I'm like, it's a public <laughs> open area. And nope. Like, I'm like, all right, so this isn't going to be good for us to bring 500 like-minded people to this area at <laughs> one time. They can maybe handle a few of us, but I think 500 people might get out of control. Um, I like the sound of it, man. And it's like, I noticed that like Big Daddy Don Garlitz's Museum of Drag Racing was one of the checkpoints, I believe. Um, yeah, that's going to be a big highlight because when oh, we leave dude. South Georgia uh, Thursday morning, then we're staying at going to Don's shop and we've got run of the museum. Um, catering trucks are going to be in there. We also have, actually, you talked about it earlier, we got nitro margarita maker coming in there um, at that checkpoint. And uh, that should be a great time. And then we're not racing until Friday in the afternoon. So we'll be able to make the drive Friday morning. JT's then, coming. All you had to do was say nitro he margarita. Said margarita machine. I'm in. Yeah, margarita <laughs> ma mixer and, and JT's booking a flight. You also <laughs> mentioned one of the, there's a pre-party at uh, Cletus's Freedom Factory, right? So that's sure. where the whole deal is going to kick off, which that's, I mean, just it, again, I point to the magic oftentimes with these deals is bringing all these people together that are kind of from different walks of the car culture scene. Uh, I love to see, uh, there was a post in the sick, uh, the sick week group on Facebook uh, inside of the last couple of days. And it was just people talking about all these different people that are coming. Right? right. And it's just it's a it's a really eclectic group. I think I've used that word three times today, so it might become the new drinking game. But it's true. Right. I mean, you got the hardcore hot rod magazines, right? Freiburger and Finnegan. These are iconic car culture guys. Uh, Alex Taylor, a bit of a fresh face and in, in uh, a newfound automotive influencer, big following on social media. Cletus, this YouTube superstar, but you have some hardcore drag racing folks like ourselves, which I was part of the reason we brought you on here today. Right was to announce that very exciting drag illustrator will be covering sick week in its entirety. Tom and I had a conversation about so many of these, and I don't really mean to reference sick week as an outlaw event, but these events that aren't like tied to NHRA, they, they oftentimes don't have the record keeping and the, the detailed results and coverage that a lot of fans want to see. And I think it speaks to the significance of events when you can easily pull up Google and find out who like, who won sick week unlimited category in 2022? Like that needs to be, and that's something that we pride ourselves in doing here at Drag Illustrated. So Tom and I got on the phone last week and it's like, you know what? We'll go and we'll go every day. We'll put out a recap after every race. So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, fans, uh, participants, make sure that you stay tuned to dragillustrated.com. We're going to have daily updates on what happened today, who's doing well, who's who's leading the pack, et cetera. So every, every night we'll be posting a release on dragillustrated.com, sending it out to all of our partners in the media from Competition Plus to Drag Zines, everything in between to make sure that in the years to come and as this event continues to grow and, and become even more significant than it already is, you'll be able to look back and, and f easily find who won, what happened, and keep these guys celebrated, their name and lights throughout the week. We're excited about it, Tom, and we really appreciate you having us, man. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, no problem. And that's